This question says, what do you say, or what do you think about tablighi jama'at? And if you, second question is, if you commit zina, is it, is it compulsory? Someone commits zina, not me. Is it compulsory to repent? First of all, Akhi, jama'at al tablighi, they differ from one country to the other. What you have to note is that those who follow a particular school of thought when it comes to aqidah, they are considered to be on the wrong path. So if they follow the school that says that the Prophet was created from Nur and that he is created from the Nur of Allah, before Allah created the creation, and before Allah created the throne and the pen and everything else, and they believe that the Prophet ﷺ did not die, and he's alive in his grave, and he's hadr, nadr, and they believe that he eats and uh, uh, drinks and lives his normal life, and they believe that the Prophet travels around the world visiting mosques like this and blessing them, and he answers the calls of those who call him, all of this is shit. This nullifies Islam. So if they believe like this, this is bad news. But the majority of them don't believe like this. The majority of them pray like us, read Quran like us. They are the kindest people you'll ever meet in your life. They are the most generous people you'll ever meet in your life. They're so humble, they're so down to earth. Yeah, subhanAllah, they have so many good things in them. You have to grab their hands and pull them to what you believe in Aqidah so they become the perfect people. So I believe that it is not a label that is the believe get the cross in the holy water. <laughs> There's nothing like this, huh? They, 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 at Tablighi you have to look deep into their conviction and their beliefs. If it's wrong, correct it. But it is wrong to label people and just stay away. He's Tablighi, khalas, stay away from him. He's doing this, stay away. I'm, I'm staying away from everyone else. Because I'm labeling people. No, get to know them, talk to them. If they have wrong things, correct it. To the best of your ability, alhamdulillah. But if they insist on doing things that nullify Islam, then after correct, trying to advise them, and they still defy it, tell them, Zakhmullah I cannot go on with you because you're doing something that goes against my religion.